Greetings! I'm Rob Chapman. <laughs> Back, um, very, very rusty after a month of not playing guitar because I got the plague that is going around. My entire family got the plague that was going around. It was absolutely savage. And I am almost returned to my previous primal fitness <laughs> or whatever. Um, but basically, I'm incredibly rusty. I, I literally have picked this guitar up after a month of not playing guitar at all. And um, so please forgive my if my playing is sloppy or bad. I'm going to kind of work into it gradually and get there. Anyway, enough about that. Did you know Harley Benton make amplifiers? I had absolutely no idea. I really didn't know. Um, I was saying to Laura and Simeon, just send me a couple of cool things to go with some of the pedals and the guitars that I've got. And they said, oh, we'll send you this amplifier. I was like, amp? It's a valve amp by Harley Benton. And I've done something that I think is, I think from my side was, was a good idea. I haven't looked up the price. I don't want to know the price when I'm reviewing this. <laughs> because I have a feeling it's going to deliver some good tones. And I want to be, uh, I want to react to finding out the price at the end of this video. So for many of you, you will be finding out the price of this along with me. Could be a cool Christmas thing. I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. So what do we know about the Tube 15? Well, it is an all valve combo. Um, it's making a bit of a song and dance about the fact that it's Celestian equipped. It's got a 12 inch Celestian 70 speaker contained within. Um, it has an effects loop at the back. It has an external output so you can connect this to a bigger or an extra um, speaker cabinet should you wish to do so. It is a 15 watt combo, but if you press this little gray hidden button here, it's now a one watt all valve combo. Preamp is ECC83s, power section is EL84s, that's going to tell you a lot about the kind of vibe that this has. I have to say, when I sort of oofed it from its uh, little cardboard box and took off the corner pieces and did the whole ritual of unboxing an amp, you've been there, you get the corners off and then put them neatly back in the box to put them in your loft and never touch them again. I, I was really pleasantly surprised, but you know what, I'm just going to show you, come over here. I just figured this was a little bit more up close and personal. So look, it looks great. I mean, I'm imagining the price is on the affordable side because it's Harley Benton. I don't really know. You know, I literally haven't looked and I'm going to give you some proper close-ups. But this thing looks like a pro-end amplifier. It just, the Tolex is beautifully done. The, the, the chicken head knobs remind me of a cornford I used to own, the Hellcat. Um, the grill cloth. They've done a great job because it looks cool, it's dark, but when you put a torch against it, you can actually see through to where you're trying to mic up, which made miking a lot easier for me. Um, everything that you put in clicked nicely. Uh, I'll show you the back panel, uh, a sweep over when I'm playing so that you don't get too bored or whatever. But the first impression of this amp was that when I got it out of the box, I went, oh, that's nice. I decided to pick out kind of an affordable guitar. This is an ML3 Modern Standard from Chapman Guitars. I am the owner and founder of Chapman Guitars, so I am slightly biased, but it's a great guitar. And you can get this from Toman as well, as this Harley Benton Tube 15. Let me give you some tones. Now I've set it up for a clean pedal platform kind of vibe. I will say it has a lot of gain. If you wanted a gain machine, you've got a gain machine. <laughs> so I've dialed the gain all the way back down to two, Also, this guitar taps out so I can give you some kind of split type tones. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, it's got an effects loop. I'm taking full advantage of that. So I've got my Immerse reverberator from New Neighbor in the loop. But if I take it out, if I take it out, uh, it's like this. There's a really good room sound in here because obviously I'm in a recording studio. But we're close mic'd, I'm not using a remote mic, so you should just get kind of a, a dead sound. Let me bring in the spring reverb. I know it's spring because... I'll start off with a little bit and then I'll, I'll kind of, I'll bring it in quite severely for you. Go to half of the way. I do like the spring reverb, but I prefer a blend of reverb and delay, and the Immerse reverberator gives me that, so I'm sticking with my new neighbor, which is great. The effects loop gives me that option. I've set this up with an EQ that I always, always use for combos, a little bit more low end because it's a small chassis. It's the classy lassie with the classic chassis. Um, I back off some of the high end because sometimes this shape Shape of an amplifier makes a big difference, I find. Um, the wood makes more difference to the overall sound than you would think, in, in, in my experience. And I've got it kind of not really cranked. 15 watts, I mean, if you've ever played a 15 watt valve amp, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. 15 watts is quite loud, so I've only got it on three. I'm gonna give this amp one um, criticism, which is that with a beautiful silver shiny uh, plate and then black uh, embossed printing on the silver plate. It is quite difficult to read the front plate, although I guess you're gonna kind of set it and leave it. But I think if you were gigging, you, you probably would end up marking where you leave things. It's my only criticism so far. Other than that, I mean, it's really, Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> a little creamy white valve combo. Um, let's put some pedals in front of it. So I've got the gain low, as you can hear, it's just, it breaks up if I give it a humbuck. <clears throat> but if I give it a back at double drive, that'll push the preamps, the ECC 83s a little bit harder. Let me turn that delay off. say it really excels on the neck pickup. Okay, so we've pushed the ECC83 preamp section with back at double drive, which gave us this. Now I'm gonna stack on top of that, or run it into the snake oil very thing to give us filth.
It is definitely a really good vehicle for pedals. It, it, it sort of, it likes pedals in it. Do you know what I mean? Some amps don't. Some amps seem to lose a certain tone or, or some part of the amp doesn't like sometimes to be pushed in the front or receive in the back. You know what I mean? But this does. It is a really good pedal platform. Anyway, ignoring the drive pedals that I have, I'm just gonna quickly tune. And what we'll do is we'll just push the gain on the amp and see how the amplifier likes to be pushed itself. By the way, the last piece I just played was from a friend of mine called Matthias Arp, who was an incredible German guitar player. Um, he used to demonstrate for PV, and the reason I, I felt like playing that was because this reminded me of the old PV Delta Blues from absolutely years ago that I know that Matthias Arp really liked. Anyway, let's push this gain up, something I've never said before. So we're on two, let's go to four and see how that sounds. Oh, sorry, I should start with two and then give you the, tell them rusty, can't you? Oh, no, that's, no, no, that's two, here's four. So, my Apollo X4 is looking at me going, ah, <laughs> because the volume has just crept up to a beautiful place. So I'm gonna have to drop down the volley just a touch to accommodate that extra drive. Where this is now is exactly where I would have the gain section for a gig. I felt like I was playing in a gig. I step on the snow coil, it gives me exactly the lead boost I need. The amp is giving me exactly the gain structure I need for powerful chords. But you still hear the breakup and definition in, in the structure of the chord. And if I pop it and lock it, Sorry, Steve. Uh, let's let's push this up another couple of notches. It's it's in lead territory now, and it's it's liking it. Sounds good. Okay, uh, tell with it, all of the game. Why not? Let's do all of the game.
<laughs> now I've noticed it's got quite bright as I've brought up the gain. So I'm just gonna dial off a little bit of the treble. Backed off the treble, added a bit of mid, it's beautiful now. <laughs> played loud in such a long time you <laughs> you almost forget that little hairs the rush of adrenaline you get from just cranking something beautiful and valvey well look it's a great amp it plays really nicely in, in, in what I say the amp plays nicely what I mean is the connection I feel between the guitar and the amp is really good it sounds great it's flexible it's got everything you need you could definitely gig this amplifier it's loud as all hell now I need to find out how much it costs, so I'm going to quickly turn you off, take a look on the internet, and then I'll turn you back on again. I mean, it's 230 euros, <laughs> plus, plus like 30 euros shipping if you're in Europe or something. That's ridiculous, man. They've really won the game there. I mean, it plays as good as a whole bunch of other much more expensive amplifiers. To be honest, if you like valve amps, you should go check it out. It's great. By the way, I did play the 1 watt setting, it just sounds the same as the 15 watt setting, but quieter. So there's less headroom, obviously. It wasn't much point in putting that in a demo, but it's 1 watt if you want it. Don't bother, just turn down the 15 watts and um, tell your neighbours that you'll make them some muffins. <laughs> I've been Rob Chapman. Take it easy. Sorry about the rusty play. Chappers out. <laughs>